so we just uh, you just heard some bluesy sounds within the in the key of A. So I thought we would work on that today. And um, it, it's, it's, I'm going to try to keep some of it simple, but some of it might kind of go off. And there'll be some of you that will pick up on it, and some won't. Don't worry about it. If you can get the framework for doing this in the key of A, that'll it'll help you to get started. Now, most of the time, we play blues. Very commonly, it's in the key of E. And, uh, but today, we're going to do it differently. We're going to do it in A. And we're going to start out with that little riff right there, okay? So the way that that's done is you're going to go up to the ninth fret, first string, put your middle finger. The third string on that ninth fret, put your first finger. And you're only going to play strings three, one, three, one, three, one, okay? And you can use your pick too. third finger or um, your ring finger on, on string one and then you go to the A with a hammer on that's the E seventh shape there with that bar chord the E seventh shape I just bar it and then now if you're not comfortable with doing bar chords check out my video on that you'll find it in some of the earlier videos uh, I started doing all these videos in February. I have about 275 out there now. So all you have to do is, I think there's a search within my channel. And if you put in bar chords, they should pop up. And, and take a listen to them because it'll teach you a little more about how to do these bar chords. Give you a few tips to make it easier. But I have to say, it's something you have to work at. And you've got to, you've got to work at it over and over again. And eventually, There'll be some that'll be easier than others, and some that they'll take time, but that's okay. As long as you're making progress, you learn something new each time. So, but today um, I'm using this bar chord with a hammer, hammer on. It sounds awesome with this. And, uh, and so that sounds great. But the thing is, is that if you can't do that, you could use the E. Just or use that uh, A shape. Excuse me. You can use the F shape at the fifth fret, and that's an A. So remember the F shape. Now that's also another one that's hard, and I have a video on that one too. But hopefully, at this point, you know how to make an F shape, and all you do is you just bring it up here to the to the uh, fifth fret. So it sounds. but it sounds so much better if you can do that, okay? Now your pinky finger, when you're in the A chord, can do a lot of different things. It's free, there's no, not doing anything. So you can put it to work. When you do that hammer on, all you do is take that pinky finger on the second string, can move it move it around in this case I'm going using it on the seventh fret six uh, second string and and uh, you'll notice I'm using my thumb pick to pick up strings five and six kind of going back and forth a little bit there, but I'm keeping that beat, that bass beat with it. Now, what did I do there? I went to the D chord. Now, uh, the way this works is we have three chords that this thing is made up of. It's the A, the D and the E. And so I know where there's an E. I know where there's A's in different places on the fingerboard. I know where there's different D's. So I can move to them when I'm doing this. 
and play something entirely different and make it sound different, but it's still that bluesy sound. Uh, but today we're just we're going to do the E the D as a D seventh. It looks like a C shape uh, with that uh, that pinky finger um, on the third string, third fret. That's how you do the C seventh, and then you just move that up to to your uh, pointer finger is at the third fret, and that's a D seventh. Sounds very close to the D because it's in the D family. So we'll call it D, but we're going to use that. It has a nice bluesy sound to it. Okay, so we can, when we have to go to the D, when we go from this, we can go to that and it sounds great. But you know what's really neat about this is that if you use this D seventh, if you just move up two frets, what did I say about the chords we're using today? The, the A, the D, and the E? Well, guess what? This is D, two frets up. There's E, E seventh. Okay? It's E seventh. But we can use that. Okay? So let's start from the beginning. Where are we at? We got... making that that C7 shape or the C shape that I showed you with including the pinky finger you're making the D D7 here and I'm just sliding it back one fret and I'm plucking uh, you know four of the strings right in the center I'm not I'm not plucking these the low the low and the high E I'm just using that Okay, and then I go back to the that hammer on A. Now here's here we go again. So if we've got this as your D, move up like I said two frets. There's your E. about these chords uh, when you're in here with the D seventh if you go up to the seventh fret and you put your ring finger on the second string seventh fret and you put your middle finger on the fourth string seventh fret and slide that slide it down like you did here you do it here it goes with that chord and you can do the same thing when you're here with the E seventh, just you, except you're up on the ninth fret. And there's the E, and then for the A, oops, A. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you. You may or may not remember it, but I wanted to throw it in there. So let's go through where we're at so far. We're going to start out with... you play around with it. I'll try to find the right chord charts to put up there for you. Although sometimes I have a little challenge with that. I've yet to find a program that'll let me actually make some my own and, and make them look professional. So I try to find them in my chord uh, 
some of my cord books and things and, and use those, but they're not always, these are apps. They're not, all, they don't always have conclusive shapes in those apps. So I, I kind of run short, shy of giving you something that's exact. Um, so there's something I need to work on. I know sometimes that might be frustrating to you. So um, hopefully you'll get at least one thing from this. If anything, this is A, D7, seventh and those three chords you could do a lot with you all have a great day or night wherever you are in this world.